How do you know that someone who's a policeman or, or a firefighter is someone that you can trust? Well, you train them. You train them for many, many, many years, or a doctor. You train them for a really, really long time, and you do continual assessments of them. We need to treat AI systems in a similar way. We need to have standardized forms of testing. New norms, new standards. For, for an approach to AI that is safe and that is trustworthy. Because the systems will have an impact. Accountability and culpability on the part of AI developers. We need to find ways to get them to be responsible with what they're developing. And that chimes very well, I think, with the work that the, the OECD has done around principles. The OECD principles are the most widely adopted principles by governments around the world. What, what I take from them is that seeing the word trust actually arrive in, in a principle which is going to become an influential policy tool is really, really important important uh, step towards establishing trust. Trustworthiness means that a technology needs to earn its keep. Because when you look at people in society and hear their anxieties around AI and what they do and don't like about it, a frequent term that comes up is trust. Unless the technology is trustworthy, it's not going to be deployed broadly and you know allow it to do its good. Translating the principles uh, which have been developed into practical guidance is a very important step. Now, when thinking about how to do that, there's a couple of characteristics of AI that are important to bear in mind. One is that the range of AI applications is really broad. I mean, it ranges from the completely trivial to the very profound. Co-design is going to be important. So involving the stakeholders, not only the users, but also the larger society. What you're seeing happen is AI company develops a system and then people find that the system has biases through testing it. And that creates accountability, which leads to the companies changing how they've developed that system. And if you want this to happen in a more formal way, I think it does come down to developing these standard kind of testing suites. And that's kind of one of the roles that I think policymakers have. What is going to be interesting is to see where these algorithmic automated systems are going to play a role in life. The issue now is getting the balance right so that the, the huge benefits that AI can offer are realized at the same time the risks are, are managed.